There's no reason the nation of Africa... She didn't understand that Africa was a continent and not a country. Have you ever heard of the Curse of Ham? All over Africa, the new military technology of automatic guns gave easy victories to the invaders. When something about Africa is talked about, is normally bad, it's normally violent. All the time. So in order to keep them away from the streets, 1976 is often seen as a key moment. How many people know that Africa is five times the size of the United States, of continental United States? Five times larger. The so-called curse of Ham, which we're gonna read what it says in the Bible and there is no such thing. If you wanted to find the dumbest person in the world, however you want to mention it, it'd be in Africa. So the most intelligent person. The most intelligent person in the world would be in Africa. The reason I'm talking about black people in the Bible is because black folks need to know that we didn't start as slaves. People often wonder how European colonial powers exploited and plundered Africa so openly. What is the heritage of white South Africa? So fearlessly. All over Africa, the new military technology of automatic guns gave easy victories to the invaders. So ruthlessly. Two French officers were put on the job. Both men had one thing in common. Their bloodlust. Where did they get the audacity to murder millions of Africans without any regard, regret, or scrutiny? Today, we discuss the top lies and Jedi mind tricks that have been told, sold, and presented to the world at large. About Africa. Now this lie has persisted. It's been with us since grade school, college, until this very day. But today, we're gonna undress it all the way down to the buck naked truth. Period. Africa is colossal. The cradle of civilization, from the Serengeti to the peaks of Kilimanjaro, is over 30 million square kilometers of pure diversity. Rainforests, deserts, greenlands, the most diverse place on earth. Hosting over 3,000 different ethnicities. The Yoruba, Ashanti, Igbo, Maasai, Pygmy, Zulu. Also the continent with the most abundant resources. Cobalt, gold, vibranium, diamonds. If it's precious, it can be found in Africa. Africa is colossal, but you would never know it. In 1569, a mapmaker by the name of Gerardus Mercator created some technology that would change the world. He created a map projection that is still used to this day. It was a simplified seafaring navigational tool that helped people get from point A to point B with accuracy. The problem was it wasn't accurate in its projections of the land masses that it showed. Now, isn't this the map that you use K through 16 in the United States of America? Now, folks, look at this map for the Earth. Then, if this map is correct, then the equator must be here, and Chicago has a tropical climate. Now, folks, this is the map that we use in the schools. Look where the United States is in the middle of the world, right? Look at this map. The equator on this map is down here. All the white countries are larger than they should be and all the countries of people of color are smaller than they should be. Africa is the second largest continent on Earth. So any map that we see of Africa should depict it as such, with only Asia being larger. But this is not the case. On this map, the UK seems huge. The United States seems huge. Greenland seems gigantic. Uh, when in actuality, Africa can fit every colonizing country and continent onto itself, along with China and India to boot. That's huge. And this is the lie that we've been sold and told for so long. It's almost like we're teaching kids that we're bigger, we're better. That's right. You know. That's right. That's exactly what this map is supposed to do. Right. What we have in this country and call education is indoctrination. Lu, Mali, Malau. What's up? Malu. I'm studying African. My loo, my. What do you mean? Exactly.
There is no African language. What the people would like you to believe is that the continent of Africa is one people. Yes, sweetie, Africa is actually one tribe, but we have multiple villages. I'm from the village of Nigeria. I'm not from the village of Nigeria, but I'm from the village of Kenya. I'm not from the village of Kenya. There are multiple ethnicities in Africa. I think well over 2,000 different ethnicities, different languages, different religions, different cultures, all throughout the continent, the massive continent of Africa. Brother sold brother into slavery. Uh, it would take uh, somebody in Africa to sell black Africans to the white Portuguese and French who were there. Brother sold brother into slavery. That's a stone cold and lie. All over the world, we know that the Saxons, the Vikings, the Romans, the Spartans, the Indians, the, the Japanese, all had different forms of slavery. In fact, was it 1555, the Japanese would take their lower class citizens and sell them to the Portuguese. And these were the first Japanese people to get onto the European continent. Do we talk about yellow brother selling yellow brother into slavery? No, we don't. But we never talk about brown on brown, red on red, white on white brothers selling each other in slavery because we recognize the different ethnicities, but we don't recognize the multiple ethnicities in Africa. In other words, all skin folk ain't kin folk. In this world that we live in, being constantly bombarded by lies on every side or pressure on every side, it can lead to a bit of anxiety. Uh, before leaving the United States, I sought some counseling, some help, and it did help me tremendously to make some uh, decisions that I'm able to own and live with till this day. If you find yourself in a similar position where you just want to be able to talk to somebody to air out some things and have no vested interest in either decision you make, I would like to strongly suggest you get some help. I would suggest even using BetterHelp, the sponsors of this video. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist that's trained to listen and give you unbiased advice. The right therapist for you may not be in your area. For that, BetterHelp has access to over 30,000 different therapists in their network that can connect you via video chat, messaging, or even over the phone. And the process is relatively easy to get started. Fill out a questionnaire to assess your specific needs and you'll be matched with a therapist, in most cases, in 48 hours or less. At this point, you'll be able to schedule sessions for whatever time that's convenient for you. Now, if the therapist you're first matched with doesn't feel like a good fit, you can switch therapists at no additional cost. And with the amount of time that people are spending in the gym every week, why not give your mind the same kind of attention? If you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in our description. That is BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com forward slash the Yarbros to get 10% off of your very first month to see if therapy might be a good fit for you. And with the kind of information that we are learning and debunking about Africa, it might help to talk to someone. Many people believed and probably still believe that African communities did not have a form of writing, like did not have a writing system and that they primarily relied on verbal communication. This is a lie. Ancient African writing is the oldest form of writing in the world, predating European and Greek by at least 2,000 years. In researching a lot of this, I came to learn about a few of those writings. From Ethiopia, for example, they have a Ge'ez script or Ch'ez script. There's also a script that came from a tribe in Nigeria called Nisibidi. There's another African writing script that I learned of from the Kushites called the Mirroretic Script. There was actually a famous Portuguese historian that traveled to Zimbabwe in the 16th century and documented in detail the script that he found. Now, that's all that I found in researching for this video, but if you know of any other African writings outside of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, Egypt is in Africa, it's African, uh, let us know in the comments below. How do you propose an entire continent of countries conspire to go to a different continent, completely rape, pillage, and destroy, divide, and conquer this continent while the entire world kind of sat back and applauded? I'll tell you how by promoting a propaganda machine of epic proportions. This was called the Scramble for Africa. By 1914, only two countries remained outside European possession, Liberia in the west and Ethiopia in the east. Between the colonizing powers themselves, the carve-up was peaceful. 
but their rivalry was intense. In 1884, a Congress of the competing governments met in Berlin to settle their disputes. It was here at the Berlin Conference of 1885 that some of the African countries that we know were given their names and borders were drawn so that the colonial powers could divide up the land. It was also here that a plan to degradate, degrade, and devalue Africa was hatched, and propaganda was the major card that they played. So the curse of Ham was an intricate part of this propaganda machine. It is a curse, it, well, should I say, it is not a curse that is found anywhere in the Bible, but it was taught in seminaries and Bible schools everywhere. But the so-called curse of Ham is that uh, Noah cursed Ham, and therefore black people are cursed to be servants to the descendants of Japheth and the descendants of Shem for their entire lives. It just ain't in the Bible. The earliest etchings I could find of this propaganda was in early Portugal, uh, when Portuguese started their pillaging of the African continent. Uh, we find a bunch of little writings about uh, the Curse of Ham. Let me tell you something, the Curse of Ham does not exist anywhere in your Bible. I don't know what you were told, but stories of old and in the past, it's all these stories about black people being cursed by God, um, uh, to be less than people, to be subjugated, to be abused, to be slaves to the white man. And that is nowhere in the Bible. Now, a uh, son of Ham's called Canaan was actually cursed by Noah. But that's it, no curse of Ham. In fact, uh, in Jesus' genealogy, there are descendants of Ham. In fact, Ham was blessed of God, it says. So again, the curse of Ham is fiction, is propaganda that was in the quote unquote white man's religion uh, to promote the subjugation and the almost annihilation of black people. Since it, since it fit their ideology, they promoted it as doctrine in all of their seminaries, Bible colleges, and Bible universities. Africa is home to many religions, faiths, and practices, but there is one lie that's been told about one of the major religions of the continent, and that's Christianity. That lie being that it was the European colonizers that brought the white religion to the continent of Africa. But this is false. Christianity actually existed in Africa a thousand years before the first European colonizer set foot on this beautiful cradle of civilization. Vivid wall paintings tell the story of Ethiopia's spectacular heritage. Christianity was declared a state religion here in the fourth century. This isn't a religion that was imposed on Ethiopia by missionaries. This is homegrown Christianity. Long before it was uh, the religion of the Roman Empire, it was the religion here in Ethiopia. Ethiopia was the first Christian kingdom in the world. With Christianity dating back as far as the fourth century. Another lie is that Africa did not contribute to civilization. And that Africa ain't civilized. Look, y'all, some of the most ancient, oldest, richest civilizations of the world mm -hmm. were based in and around Africa. Some of the greatest thinkers of the world went to Africa to study. One of the oldest libraries, the Library of Alexandria, many Greek philosophers, mm -hmm. many Chinese philosophers, all came there to study, to share knowledge and grow. Um, like this, this library was a big deal located in so. Alexandria. Uh, Egypt is one of the most significant repositories of knowledge of the ancient world. Please, please know that civilization was birthed in and around Africa. This this notion that 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 civilization only came about after the uh, Europeans kind of went around the world to see how real kings lived, saw how, how to carry themselves as royalty, um, and then they tried to take it back and say that, no, we are civilization. All of that is fallacy. The truth is kings and queens were birthed in Africa. And, and that's just the bottom line. And this is just a few of the lies told about the continent of Africa. We hope you guys had fun. Check us. If we said some stuff mm -hmm. that was off hit, off, hit us up in the comments. If you know some lies, because there are many, 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 yeah. many more. <laughs> Let us know down in the comments. This stuff, this wheel has been turning for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, 
civilization trying to discredit um, Africa and demean Africa. So again, uh, if you know of any that we miss, and there was quite a few, hit us up in the comments. Remember this, believe half of what you hear and none of what you see. All of this world is a fallacy. <laughs> From the Yarbros with love.